loaded. The today I'm going to show you all how to place a carburetor on a home light weed eater. And before we begin, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of any new videos that I put out. I do post every Friday and occasionally on Wednesdays. I'd like to grow my subscription to a thousand subscribers. Right now I'm pretty low. So I'm asking y'all for y'all help. Without y'all, I cannot reach my goal. With that said, let's begin. When looking for parts, since this is a home light, and partly all trimmers huh, are the same, the, there's different components, different parts. The name is displayed here for the carburetor. The name is here, Azama, made in China. It already have a gasket built in. So when putting it in, this is the throttle. You put the throttle in first. Then you put it in here. <coughs> the side closer to the, on the home light, the side closer to the engine is the intake. The side towards you is the outtake. So once you put that in, you place this here make sure it's seated the home light comes with two nuts either we eaters might have screws You try catching it with your finger. Once you have it started, you take your tool and you do the rest. Once you feel it catch, you stop and you go on to the other one. Then you run both of them down. Not too tight, or you may just rip it off. Once it's in, this is the gas bottle. You look at it to see if it's clean. Mine is not. Before you put the hoses back, you 
Där är kutinerna. Jobbåtorna. Det är hon lite här alltså. Få skruvs. Right here. Which you will take out. Once you take out these four screws, the bottle comes out, you put gas into it. If you don't have the tool to take out the tank, it gets some gas, you put inside it. Put your cargo on, and you will just work it all around. Put your finger on the two holes, and just work it. It. Most of the stuff is out. You wiggle it a bit and you pour the gas into a container. All the weed eaters has a gas filter. This is a, a gas filter. If you notice, just look at the debris it has here. So whenever you do any kind of maintenance on your weed eater it's always wise to change the gas filter when you put in your hose in you give it a little cut so you'd be able to get it in the hole. Just remember the one towards the engine. That's the one the gas filter would be going on. The one furthest from the engine would be shorter but the one furthest from the engine is the <coughs> discharge line so 
the ones you want to get at you know and then you would go and fish the other line have the line long enough that you can get it if the hose is a good and you want to change the filter alone you could always fish out the line for here this is a new filter that I'd be putting on Since the hand is slippery, let me go and get a okay. You hold it. I have a crimper. You hold the tube in with the crimper so you want squeeze it and you work in Just make sure you get it in so it won't come out. You could also put the end of the hose in hot water. Once that's done, you put the filter in. Just make sure it goes all the way to the back. You pull on the hose a bit. And now you fit it on here. You push the excess back into the <coughs> You will do the same here. Just remember, if you cannot remember the position of the hoses, if you do have the whole hose, you can connect them to the carburetor. Take a, a container, put gas into it and take the hose without the filter drop it in the gas and pump the bubble to see 
which one is the intake and which one is the discharge. When you press the bubble, gas comes up from the tank, goes to the bubble. If you keep on pressing and it has excess gas, it will find itself back and go to the carburetor. So you have to have it in the right orientation if you want your weed eater to work. Now there are some weed eaters they have it the other way around. This one the intake is towards the engine the discharge is the outer one some of them the intake is on the outer side so it's a vice versa once you get all that done you flush you flush your bottle you put the cap back and you try starting if it won't start then the next process is to check for sparks now I have a spark tester but for most of you all out there do it yourself will not have a spark tester so I'll be checking for spark without the spark tester you put your that's the air filter you put it back on just remember your air filter has to be clean now if you do buy a carburetor kit for your weed eater usually it would come with the piece of sponge which is the air filter you must always inspect because if the air filter is dirty it definitely will have a hard start remember that is where the engine is breathing <coughs> That's the nose of the engine. The exhaust is the rear of the engine. Now once you've done service your carburetor, put your air cleaner back on. You put gas and your engine still will not start this is the spark plug right here you take out your spark plug this is a a new spark 
program. When removing the spark plug, before you take it out, make sure there isn't any grass or anything there. You put the spark plug on without putting it in the engine block. Now I don't know if you see that, let me see. Let me try something to see if you will see the spark. I should just take my spark plug tester and finish with that. Okay, you put that here. Just watch how you're holding it because you might get a shock. You see, most things you need two hands. And you, okay, you put it close to the metal part and you pull it. Then you would, you would see it firing. Once you get in spark, out of the spark plug, that means your coil is good. If you're not getting spark out of the spark plug, you would have to check to make sure the lead isn't broken anywhere here before you jump on the coil. The coil is right here. I will not go remove the cap and show you all that now, maybe in some other video. You put your Back plug back, you tighten, not too tight, and you put your lid back. Now, if you do all that. The engine still won't start. You have to check to see if you have compression. <clears throat> if you make sure your spark plug is good, the lead of the spark plug is good, that means your coil right here or dynamo is firing then you check to see if you have compression the way to check for compression you will take out your spark plug and you will pull your engine when the spark plug is out it you can pull it much easier but if you do have the spark plug in and you try that's if it doesn't have compression it would be hard for you to pull if you have the spark plug in or out you could take a little bit of gas and pour it on top of the cylinder head that's mixed gas Put it on top of the cylinder head, put the spark plug in without the lead and try pulling it. 
when you try that, you won't be able to pull it that easy. It would be very, very hard because the little bit of gas and oil you put into it would go into the rings and it would seal it tight. If you have good compression, if you have good compression, everything is good. You know you just service your, your carburetor. Either you service it or you replace the kits. Everything is good before you start or before you try out your engine. Make sure that you have the right lens of string <clears throat> never start your weed eater without string because then the engine won't have no weight on it you will not know if it's running right you start it without spring strings the engine going to race. You put the strings on it, the right length, and you start. Then it would get the weight. Once it starts, it gets the weight, and if it needs adjusting, then you could adjust it. Before you tamper with the adjustable screws, make sure you have the right length of strings on the weed eater. With all that said, I'll be signing out for now. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe, click on the bell icon to be notified. As I stated at the beginning of this video, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers and I'm asking for your help. Without you, I cannot go anywhere. With all that said, bye. Until the next one.